It's an electrographic thought-based gravity fence or a reality construct. Uh, so basically, murder in the 666 construct is only possible through the combined ignorance and weakness of man's ego. All the other timelines depend on our survival because this is the one which is defined by its uh, entropic restriction, meaning we're the only ones that didn't stop killing while every other timeline did. And in this case, it becomes literal death for us, um, meaning everybody, our species. Death resets time, so it's fine. If somebody bounces back and then their life continues. You know, they got, uh, fell off a cliff. Okay, next day they come back or the day before and continues. The system was broken and uh, it made it permanent to the point where each time we'd have to get more or less resurrected by the previous or future civilization. And uh, this was a this Then once that was found out, it was abused and uh, it basically almost collapsed the universe and uh, like a fold within a fold. It couldn't pop back out because we were living on the dead side of the human universe because of them pretty much using this tech to flip around time to reverse their own death and put themselves in front of their murderer or their accident or whatever it was and it flips everyone else around because they did it so much. They did it so much it offset the entire pull of the universe because they kind of made a game out of it to see how many times they could do it literally millions and millions of times. Um, not millions because your brain goes dumb, but hundreds and then thousands and two computers separate your memory. Uh, so no human makes it. If no human makes it without death in this timeline, then all is lost because the entire universe has to reset and set all the timelines forward to try and fix it. Um, the only way that works is that every time you get caught in time because if something happens and you reset, you you go back to your previous quantum superimposition like a, a checkpoint, but it's within a kind of relevancy bubble of where that's happening. If there's some type of mass event or mass war or bomb or loss, extinction level events, okay, cannot occur because it disrupts it for such a long distance that by the time you get back, you, your checkpoint gets erased from a mass event. And now here you go, and but you have to start over to the point where the kind of memory, the mind, the programmed response, if you will, is suitable for here in time for that level of dynamic and variability. And so it's kind of like it would dull a little bit by the time you got back to that. If you went so far back, you would lose it and have to start all over again. You do that so much, you kind of lose the meaning, if you will. Because where you should be, if you never did that, would be somewhere up here, rotating on another spectrum, you know, like another uh, millions of these kind of ball layers things, and you'd be out there, you know, a thousand light years. And because tech, we're kind of stuck doing that, and that's the part of the time loop, but it's based upon murder and death. If you match your your mind format to the energy of the future, then you're fine. The mind format in the future is that all this crazy stuff doesn't exist because it's only possible if you're an animal or an aminal in a crazy scarcity-based reality, which is made by design as a game. So the owner of that reality thinks it's a game to torture you. You have to make it a game to overcome torture. All right, thank you. If you want to stay in this reality or if you want to stay with the 666, this, that, and the other. Or maybe, uh, yeah.